it's my great pleasure and honor to share with you some of our recent exploration on innovating intelligent environment, a new perspective on wireless communication and sensing. Wireless technology has penetrated almost every aspect of our life. It's hard to imagine how could we live through COVID without wireless technology. It not only allows us to continue to work remotely, but also connects with each other. In addition to connecting people, wireless also plays an essential role in AI advance. Lots of data has been generated from IoT devices, such as autonomous driving, smart home, remote clinics. By efficiently transferring these data from the edge devices to the cloud, wireless technology brings real-time AI to these edge devices. In addition to transferring data, wireless also generates its own data. As we all know, AI advances depends on availability of data. Conventional AI rely on visual and auditory data. Wireless empower AI with six sense. By perceiving beyond line of sight, detecting subtle movement, sensing various physical properties and chemical composition, and all these are done in privacy preserving, energy efficient, and non-invasive manner. Wireless sensing enable a wide range of applications, from controlling your games, interacting with VR AI, to apply to airport security, food safety, wireless imaging, and the list can go on and on. The earliest generation of wireless sensing are IF radar, but they were bulky, expensive, require huge bandwidth. With recent AI advances, wireless sensing now becomes available on mobile devices. For example, we have done pioneering work to bring motion tracking on your smartphone and smartwatch. The way it works is using built-in speaker to emit inaudible sound and get reflected signal from the target movement and use the built-in microphone to pick up the sound to track hands motion. And by doing that, we can enable user to interact with IoT devices by simply moving their hands. Wireless sensing principle works as follows. You have a transmitter, and then you will receive either a refracted or penetrated signal from the target. The received signal will change with the object movement location, 3D shape, as well as various physical properties. Therefore, by analyzing the received signal, we are able to infer all these properties. Wireless communication and sensing advances follow the theoretical guideline. Consider we have a wireless system with a transmitter and receiver, both equipped with multiple antennas. The wireless capacity, the sensing resolution, both will improve as we add more antennas. And this observation motivates a wide variety of work on improving the transmitter and receiver, including developing massive MIMO. We have also done pioneering work on some of these areas by developing MIMO technology. While enhancing the transmitter and receiver is effective in improving both wireless capacity and sensing resolution, but it comes with significant cost, cost of the hardware, computation, and power. Is there an alternative way to realize this benefit? Let's revisit the wireless system. As we can see, the wireless performance is not only dictated by the transmitter and receiver, but also by the channel in between. In the past, we treat the channel as given by the environment, and it's fixed, cannot be changed. But what we propose is uh, we propose to develop an intelligent environment for both communication and sensing. For example, we can place uh, these low-cost 
passive structure in the environment to create a favorable wireless channel to better support communication and sensing. Let's consider a motivation example. Consider a VR user. When his head turns away from the access point, his headset is no longer able to receive wireless signal. What can we do? Well, one possibility is place a reflector in the environment to make sure the reflected signal comes to the user's headset. But what if the user's head turns further away? Maybe in this environment, we're no longer able to find a place where we can place a reflector to ensure the one reflected signal can go to the headset. This is because the conventional surface strictly follow the law of refraction and refraction. So this uh, plays a very hard constraint on the refracted signal. Is there any alternative solution? We propose to use matter surface to address this issue. Matter surface is an exciting breakthrough that originate from optics and more recently applied to wireless signals. It can more freely control the wavefront, including the phase, amplitude, polarization. So matter surface is just a 2D surface consists of many sub-wavelength cells. Each cell can be considered as a mini antenna. So in time, matter surface can be considered as an antenna array. But different from traditional antenna array, which needs to be excited by the power source, the matter surface can be excited by the incoming electromagnetic wave. By carefully designing each unit cell, their shape, their material, we can control the outgoing phase and amplitude of the signal. And the cumulative effect of this local response can generate a very interesting global phenomenon, including beam steering, focusing, polarization conversion, etc. We choose to use passive matter surface due to its low cost and no need for power. It's a 2D structure. We can place it on wall or on windows to boost the power. And it is very cheap. But one limitation of existing passive master surface is it is fixed once fabricated. But for most common usage scenario, we have mobile transmitter and receiver. We want to dynamically adapt our outgoing signal according to the current condition. So what shall we do? We developed a, a passive matter surface with a small phase array. So basically, we combine the programmability of a small phase array with powerful wavefront shaping of matter surface to achieve the best of both worlds. We can achieve low cost dynamic beam steering at a very fine granularity. And this concept can be applied to many applications. Here I will present one application, low Earth orbit satellite communication. Even today, there's one third world population still don't have internet. And Leo satellite communication is the most promising way to provide internet access to these remote locations. Due to its high speed, low latency, easy to set up. Moreover, the cost of launching satellites has decreased rapidly. Several companies have already launched or are planning to launch thousands of satellites. But one of the obstacles to get wide deployment of LEO satellite communication is uh, to have low cost ground station. And our matter surface design is uh, one solution that we can address to achieve low cost ground station. Our matter surface design includes two parts. One is uh, the microscope design what should be the template we should use for each unit cell. 
And then the microscopic design, what is the exact pattern on each of these elements? For the microscopic design, we perform optimization and identify a template that can achieve high transmittance, large phase change range, and also support wide incident angle. Moreover, for LEO satellite communication, the frequency used to send towards the satellite and frequency used to receive from the satellites are different. So we need to support uh, both uh, directions on different frequencies. We want to design a single matter surface to achieve those. Meanwhile, for the macroscopic design, once we derive the pattern for each unit cell, we now need to determine the exact shape of for every element on this matter surface. And we cast this problem into an optimization and efficiently solve that problem. And this is our matter surface design. And here is our PCB board. So we have four layers on matter surface. It's very cheaply made. And what you need to do is just place in front of your antennas to boost your signals. And we conduct an experiment. We have a transmitter at 43rd floor of our office building and place the ground station on the street. And we place this matter surface in front of our ground station. And we are able to achieve up to 45 times the signal boost. And in terms of cost, it's only $76. With mass production, the cost can be reduced even further. In comparison, an equivalent-sized phase array will cost 40 times as much. Matter surface can not only be used to optimize wireless communication, but can also be used to help with wireless sensing. Here, we developed a matter surface-based acoustic sensing. It works like a bat. We emit inaudible signal and then receive reflection from the target. As the target moves, the reflected signal will change. Based on the change, we are able to track the target movement. By placing a 3D printed matter surface in front of it, we are able to boost the receive power. Acoustic signals are mechanical waves, so they work very differently from the radio frequency. As a result, its matter surface design is also different. We see there are lots of cells in, on the matter surface. Each cell has a tunnel, and this tunnel is carefully engineered with this particular distance. So for example, we have a transmitter, a speaker that reach the green cell and the blue cell. And the incoming phase is uh, the green cell is uh, one pi ahead of the blue cell. Then suppose our goal is uh, to make sure the outgoing phase uh, is aligned. What shall we do? What we could do is uh, we engineer the green cell to be half wavelengths longer than the blue cell so that uh, their outgoing signal is exactly aligned. So we can get a constructed um, summation and boost the power. Without a matter surface, uh, the acoustic sensing range can be fairly limited. And, but by placing this uh, 3D matter surface in front of our speaker and microphone, we can significantly increase the sensing range and sensing resolution. Here is a quick video demo that demonstrates this concept. We place a matter surface in front of our smart speaker, and the user is several meters away. And we are sending inaudible sound signal to get refreshed signal from the user. As the user is breathing, his chest is moving, 
and by looking, keeping track of the receive signal, we are able to monitor the user's breathing. Here, um, this blue curve shows the user's uh, breathing. And we can monitor the user even when the user is covered uh, with a thick uh, blanket uh, due to the boost, signal boost uh, from the matter surface. So what we envision the future is uh, given the environment and the application in requirement, our system will jointly design the transmitter, receiver, and matter surface to better support communication for network coverage, higher capacity, low latency, quality of service. Meanwhile, to enable AI with six sense for IoT application, healthcare, environment sensing, agriculture, and beyond. Thank you, everyone.